This is the one area of life where the most pain and the most pleasure shows up. The quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. It's not about your partner, whether you're single or whether you're married or whether you're discovering what you want. It's really you. And what happens is our partners just become a mirror of some aspect of ourselves that we don't usually see. And this really not so much about the love that you want to get. It's really about us becoming and embodying fully the love that we are. It isn't an outside-in game, it's an inside-out game. But this requires courage, and the gift of my life of this woman beside me is I don't know a person who's had more courage, more love, more determination, more faith, and that's what it takes. But the wild ride has been worth it at every possible level, and every challenge we face, because you're all having challenges if you're in a relationship. And somehow we seem to think that we shouldn't have problems, and I think the only problem you have is you think you're not supposed to have any. So my invitation to you, if you're willing to do the one thing that's required to have a relationship really be lasting and loving and passionate, and that is you have to decide to make your partner the most important thing. If there's one gift you want to give in any relationship, is stop questioning the intent. Divorce the story of they're a bad person and marry the truth. And usually, they will wake up out of the nightmare and love you more because you brought what was true. So we're just all freaking human doing the best we can. If somebody's done something that you think is unforgivable, rather than controlling that or pulling back love, try just bringing more love to the circumstance. Love melts. Here's the solution. Be a generous lover and it all gets solved. Someone who wants to give more love than they're trying to get back. Someone who doesn't measure, it's not a transaction. Someone who doesn't just get pissed because their needs aren't met. Where we think there isn't love, there is always love. It's always present because it's our nature. We think we're not lovable. It's not. We just have to drop the mask and uproot what we're not so we can allow our nature just to be and express itself. And it's like we have an opportunity to be what I really believe we were all born to be, which is to love. And it's more beautiful than I can even convey.